Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Test Code Automate. So this is my 27th video for the Playwright with TypeScript series. In this video, I would be covering about codeless automation by using Playwright Test Generator, where we would be recording our test script. Okay, so let's start. So Playwright comes with the ability to generate tests for you as you perform actions in the browser and is a great way to quickly get started with testing. Playwright will look at your page and figure out the best locator prioritizing role text and test ID locators. If the generator finds multiple elements matching the locator, it will improve the locator to make it resilient that quickly identifies the target element. Okay, so while recording, you will not have to worry about that, how it is detecting the locator, it will automatically find the best locator by prioritizing this role text and test ID. So there are two different ways through which we can record our test script. Okay, so the first way is by using the playwright VS code extension. Okay. And second way is to record using command line interface by using CodeGen. So let's start with this first one, which is using Playwright VS Code extension. So when you use this Playwright VS Code extension for the recording, it will record your actions and generate the test code directly in VS Code. You can also generate assertions by choosing one of the icon in the toolbar. So these are all the icons to generate the assertion and then clicking onto the element on the page to assert against. And there are three different assertions which you can include. So first one is this assert visibility to assert that the element is visible. Second one is assert text to assert that the element contains the specific text. And the third one is assert value to assert that the element has the specific value. So let's see how we can record our test and how we can use these assertions right into our test script. So now let's go to the VS code. So here, first thing which you need to do is to update your playwright. Okay. And to update the playwright, you need to use these two commands. Okay. First one is this npm install hyphen D at the rate playwright forward slash test at the rate latest. Okay. So it will update the playwright and to install the new browsers, you need to then fire npx playwright install. Okay. So it will install all the new browser because with each release playwright gives the new versions of the browsers. Okay. So I have already installed it. Okay. So the first command which I fired, which is npm install hyphen D at the rate playwright forward slash test at the rate latest. Okay. So it will update your playwright and the updated version you would be able to see here into this package.json. And after this, you need to fire this particular command, which is npx playwright install. So it will install all the latest browser. Okay. So see here it installed Chromium, Firefox, WebKit, right? So it will take some time to install as per your internet speed. And after this, the second thing which we require is the extension, right? Which is Playwright extension. So if you have not installed the Playwright extension till now, so go to this extension tab and search for the Playwright test for the VS code. Here you would be able to see which is given by the Microsoft. If it is not installed, you will be able to see the install button. You can click on it. Okay, let's close it now. So now let's start the recording. So to do the recording, you need to click onto this testing tab. Okay. And once you click here, you would be able to see this record new option here. Okay. Click on to this record new option. It will open this pop-up, which is playwright uh, code gen. Here it is appearing as starting. Okay. And once it will start the recording, it will change it to the recording. Okay. So see now it changed to the recording and the source is playwright test for VS code extension, right? Through this, we are doing the recording and it also created this test one dot spec dot TS uh, where it imported this test from this playwright test and I created this test block with this title as test and this anonymous function and inside this it will be writing the code. Okay, so these are all the things which are done by this recording and it also opened the browser, okay, which is a blank and uh, inside this browser you would be able to see this toolbar at the top. You can move this toolbar at any place and here you would be able to see this red dot which means that your recording has started. If you will click here again, it will stop the record. And uh, this option is for uh, pick locator. So through this, you can detect uh, different locators. About this, I would be talking into my separate video. And these are all different assertions which we can directly insert while recording. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to use this particular uh, demo or dot .com website, right? To perform different actions and record them. Okay. so put this URL here, hit enter, it will open the website. Okay. And here let's search uh, for any item here. I want to search for the ring 
So type ring here and click onto this search icon. And if you will go to the VS code, so see here all the actions which we performed got recorded. It opened this URL, it searched for the ring and then clicked onto this search button. And once it clicks onto this search button, you would be able to see this search heading is appearing, right? And for this, we can provide a assertion. So to provide the assertion, what we can do? We need to click onto this assert visibility. So I want to check this heading is visible or not. So first thing you need to click onto this assert visibility. And once you click, you would be able to see it will get highlighted with this uh, light blue color. And then you need to click onto the item on which you want to provide this assertion. Okay. So click onto the search. And if you will go to the VS code, so see this assertion is appearing here, which is using this expect and this locator is appearing here on which we want to check that this item is visible or not. So we are doing it with the help of this to be visible method. Okay. And about these assertions, I've already discussed into my assertion video. If you have not watched that video, I will provide the link of that video into the description, or you can click onto this I button at top right corner to access that video. And here, all the related items also you would be able to see. So I want to purchase this uh, particular ring, right? Vintage style engagement ring. So for that, I need to click on to the add to cart. And once I click on to this add to cart, this pop up will appear. You can click on to the close. And here you would be able to see this shopping cart one is appearing, right? So for this also, we can provide one assertion that this number one should be displayed, right? And for that, what we can do, we can use this asset text. Okay. So click on it. So this will get highlighted and then go to this element, which is this shopping cart one, right? So here I want to detect this one number is appearing or not. Okay. So click here. So it is taking the parenthesis also because this one is appearing inside the parenthesis here, but I just want to check this count is appearing one or not. Okay. So I can remove this parenthesis or if you want to keep it, uh, that is also okay. Okay, so I want to check this one is appearing after adding an item to the cart and let me change it to any other value. So let's change it to three. Okay, so if you change the value, which is wrong, three is not appearing here for this particular element. So it will show a red border. Okay, so let's change it again to the one. So see that red border is gone. And uh, once you entered this right value here, you can click on to this accept. So it will insert a session into your VS code. So see, it is uh, performing this expect onto this locator, page dot locator, this element it detected. And then it is checking that this particular locator to contain text one, right? So if any other value would be appearing here, so at that point, our test will get failed. So once the item is added, you can click onto this uh, shopping cart icon. Okay. So it will take you to this shopping cart page. And here as we have added only one item. So we are able to see this quantity as one. And you can also change the quantity by typing the value inside this uh, text box, right? So this is editable, which is having the value as one. So onto this also, we can perform an assertion where we would be checking that this particular element have the value as one. So for this, we would be using this assert value. So click here. So this will get highlighted with this blue color. And then you need to click onto this item on which you want to perform the assertion. So once you click here and if you will go to the VS code, so see for this element, it has uh, provided one assertion, which is to have text and the text should be one. Okay. So now as we have recorded our test, right, we can close this particular recording. So to close the recording, what you can do, you can click onto this cancel button or you can directly close this browser, right? So when the browser will close, it will close the recording also. So any of the option you can use. So let me close the browser. It will also stop the recording. So see that pop-up also went away and uh, our test is now recorded and you can edit this particular test also. So uh, here uh, while searching for the ring, we clicked onto that search box but it is really not necessary because this fill method will automatically fill the value. So we can remove this line from here. So accordingly, you can modify Let's say if you feel that uh, particular action, which is appearing, which is not required for you, then you can remove it. Okay. And uh, also you can uh, kind of edit uh, these locators also. Let's say if you feel you can give 
some more specific locator to detect the element you can change it into this script accordingly okay so now let's start the execution so once you click on to this run button here so it will start the execution and it will perform all the actions which we performed during the recording so it will open this particular site and it will search for the ring and uh, then it will provide these assertions also right which we have provided so and uh, see uh, the execution got passed right so that's how we can use the playwright vs code extension to record the particular script okay so for this we have not written any code right so by using the recording only we were able to generate the file and uh, put whole code there and uh, the same we executed right so this was the first way which we have used to record our test script by playwright vs code extension now the second way to record is by using command line interface so we would be opening the code gen by using the command line interface so here we would be just using this npx playwright code gen command and it will open this code gen tool for the recording so now let's use the cli command to open this code gen tool so for this you need to go to this terminal and here you need to give this command which is npx playwright and then code gen so usually we use this npx playwright test to start the execution but here we want to open this code gen tool so for that we would be giving npx playwright code gen and after this code gen uh, you can also give the url after giving the space so once it will open the browser it will open it with the url which you want to give okay for now i am opening it without any url so blank page would be opening into the browser okay once i hit enter so it should open that uh, chromium browser and also the playwright inspector code gen tool you would be able to see so see this playwright inspector code gen tool got opened here and we are also able to see this uh, browser with this blank page okay so here the same tool is appearing right uh, for the recording and for the sessions we have these options here but we have this new tool which is playwright inspector which is appearing so onto this tool you would be able to see the different options let me drag it here so see this record option is appearing so using this you can start or stop the recording this uh, pick locator option is there and apart from that uh, these assert options are there for the visibility text and the value and this copy option is there to copy this code which we are going to record and uh, these buttons are also there which we would be using uh, for the debugging purpose and uh, that i would be covering into the separate video okay so now let me perform some actions here so let's use the same url which is this demo.nopcommerce.com then go to this browser put that value of the url hit enter okay so now uh, this page got opened let's search for the same item which is the ring and now i am hitting the enter okay so it will open the search page here i can perform the same assertion uh, so click on to this assert visibility and then click on to this search heading right so see it has given that assertion here onto this line number eight right let's uh, provide one more assertion for this particular search button okay so you can click on to this assert text this time and click on to this search so see it is showing that uh, search text is appearing here and uh, we can provide the assertion for the same so every time it will check that onto this button the search text should be displayed so once you hit accept so see this line would be appearing there. okay so any actions you can perform and it will get recorded here and once you are done with your recording you can uh, click on to this stop so it will not capture the further actions here and then once you are done with your recording you can click on to this copy button so it will copy your uh, code and you can then enter that particular code into your vs code so let's create one more file here and uh, uh, here let's give the name like uh, code gen recording right dot spec dot ts any file name you can give right so into this file if you will paste that code right which we copied from this playwright inspector so the same code will be appearing here and if you will run this code it will execute all the actions which you have recorded into the browser okay and one more thing if you will go to your uh, playwright inspector so here you can change the language also so this is what which we have recorded is in typescript right but from here you can change the language uh, for the java python for the dotnet c sharp 
and uh, so on right uh, different options are there which you can use so it will change the code into that particular language so let me click on to this library so see here it has converted the code into the javascript and if i click here for the java one so see here uh, it has converted the code into the java language so accordingly you can select your language also so that is also one major benefit of using this code gen tool but it's up to you what you want to use right if you want to directly use this uh, vs code extension so that is also very good and if you want to use this uh, playwright inspector code gen tool so that you can use accordingly you can also clear the code by clicking on this by this you can change the team okay and uh, if you will close the browser uh, so automatically this tool will get also closed okay or you can click on to this close button here so just to close this tool only it will not close the browser in that case okay so yeah that's it for this particular video let me give you the quick recap so here we saw right uh, there are two different ways through which we can do the recording one is by using this uh, playwright vs code extension where you will have to go to the vs code and then inside this testing you would be able to see this record new option and using this you would be able to record your test script which will automatically create one test script file and uh, there it will write all the code you can also use this record at cursor so at any point let's say if you have written some of the code and you feel that you want to do some recording so you can put your cursor at that particular point okay let's say if i want to start recording at this point so i can keep my cursor here okay and then i can click on to this record new so from that point whatever you record into the browser will get copied here and also we saw right uh, apart from recording the actions we can also put the assertion while recording by using these tools option which are uh, assert visibility right assert text and assert value so these three assertions you can insert only three assertions are here for now but uh, into my previous video we saw right uh, there are so many assertions which we can use so if you want to use those assertions you will have to insert them manually and the second method was by using this uh, cli command which is npx playwright code gen okay so by using this we were able to open this playwright inspector code gen tool and through that we were able to record our test script and uh, don't get confused with these name right or playwright test generator or playwright code gen or playwright inspector so at the end we are just going to record our test script by using this particular tool so no need to get confused with these name right so yeah that's it from my end you can click on to this first card to go to the next video you can click on to the second card to access the whole playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions or doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day